Hi folks, so I'm back from Germany and um, decided to spend a little bit of time actually um, rebuilding the AR Pro or building a new AR Pro after uh, Mark and I were doing some chase footage in Germany. Uh, unfortunately, we had a bit of confusion when Mark was passing me so I could start to film him and uh, he, he basically ran into me. Um, it was entirely his fault, of course, despite his protestation. Um, and unfortunately, he's, um, his prop chewed through my wing and severed the servo cable. I had no control over the plane and it went down, um, as you can see in this clip. Okay, so if you go past me, I'll try and keep with you and do the loop. Shit, I'm going down. Yeah, I've gone down. Yeah, so I had no chance to recover uh, from that at all. So yeah, decided to, um, to, to really kind of beef up the AR Pro. I've been flying the AR Pro for some time. I've done quite a few mods to it, but they've only really been 3D printed mods. So I decided to try and work on um, getting the plane to perform and handle better, especially under higher speeds. Um, so I've decided to make some Volzer Elevons. The original Elevons on the AR Pro, I've thought for a long time, really are just far too flexible. I mean, look at this, this, this is, whoa, this, uh, this torsional rigidity. Um, I did actually make these little um, 3D printed ends just to stop them getting caught on the grass on landing and, and tearing because they're so flimsy. But you know, they, they, the torsional strength and the, the lateral strength is, uh, is pretty weak. And I have found that when I'm flying the AR Pro hard, especially doing loops, uh, and hard fast turns that I'm losing a little bit of resolution and the plane I'm sure can fly better than it does even though it flies great um, I want to try and improve that so it's the first time I've made any bolts or elevons so I just use these wings as a template I've got this stock um, training edge it's now it, it's much bigger and thicker than the actual elevon so um, I'm using a, a, a hobby plane, a blade plane, to plane it down to the right size. Then I just drew around the Elevon and, uh, and just cut them out and sanded them. And they came out pretty good. Um, you know, they're, they're not perfect, but they're, they're pretty good. And the torsional rigidity, well, that's just something else. And uh, laterally, well, you know, here's a little clip of me doing a little test with the LiPo. Just to compare the kind of lateral rigidity um, of the bolts are compared to the standard foam elevons. So if I hold this elevon onto the bench with about 30 millimetres for support and then try and put this 170 gram lipo on the end, it won't even support it, it will just fall off. It, it just hasn't got the strength to support 170 grams of lipo. If I do the same thing again, with the bolts are on, about 30 mil on there again, clamping up to the bench, then it just sits on there with no problem at all. So yeah, laterally it's obviously a lot less flexible, but also torsionally it's a lot less flexible. Um, and if I do put some carbon fibre on there, then it's going to be super rigid um, and you know that will really make a big difference hopefully. Okay, so obviously um, I, I needed to figure out how to fasten these to the wing. So there's two methods. So um, I've actually completed the first test setup um, and this is using the, what they call the Z hinge method. So that method basically, I'll put a, a link to the video that I used to follow and understand how this process works. It's produced by Chris Click, who is the, um, the founder of Right Wing, um, who produced the, the mini Drac, nano Drac, daddy Drac range of planes uh, and many others as well, superb planes. I do have a mini Drac in build at the moment. Um, so yeah, I use the Z hinge method. And so basically, essentially, um, you use this, uh, this scotch double-sided tape. And the way it works is that you basically run the tape onto the elevon, underneath the elevon and down onto the wing. And then you reverse the process, thus locking the elevon directly to the wing. And then you get some of this packaging tape this is the kind of stronger clear packaging tape and you run a full length at the top and bottom to cover the gap. 
but you do that with the actual Elevon deflected slightly so that you've got that maneuverability. So this is the one I've got kind of finished. Um, the horns that I'm using um, are these um, McGregor Industries, they're called, and they're little aluminium horns. I'll show you one on the actual Elevon there. So they're, uh, and I'm using, this, apart from that, the, uh, the stock servo rods that came with the AR Pro kit. Um, I'll just plug this into the, uh, the servo tester so we can see how that looks. Pretty happy with it actually, even though it's just a test. Um, quite surprised how easy it was to actually uh, make the bolts or elevons and uh, also to put the Z hinges on. Okay, so just let me. Is that plugged in? Oh, put it in the right way up, Glenn. It'll probably work then. Okay, so. Feels good, feels nice and solid. Actually, if I hold the corner of the olive on and move the servo tester, the olive ons are so rigid that the actual wing just moves up and down. You couldn't do that without a huge amount of flex using the standard ones. Okay, so that is basically the first wing. The second one, I'm going to try a different method of, of fixing the bolts at Elevons to the foam wing. I'm going to use these, uh, what are called CA hinges. Um, so these are like flexible plastic and they're coated in like a felt material. And then the idea is that you cut a slit into um, your Elevon and you slide the, um, the CA hinge halfway into the Elevon and you cut a slit in your wing and then you push the two together and then you drop, put a few drops of thin CA glue um, in there and um, it runs in and, and basically makes the, um, the Elevon solid to the wing using those CA hinges. Now these CA hinges or a smaller version of them do actually come with the AR Pro kit and you might notice that on the underside of your AR Pro there are three markings for three locations to fix these CA hinges. So Sonic Model did have it in their mind that maybe people might want to replace the Elevons with uh, alternative options, otherwise they wouldn't have marked the wing, nor would they have put these CA, CA hinges in the kit, in my opinion. So this one is going to be done with CA hinges. This one has already been done with the, uh, the Z hinge method. Okay, so that is going to be how we're going to fasten the wings on. Um, also, not particularly happy um, with the way that these winglets actually uh, attached to the wings. Now that the screw that goes through the wood and into the inside is almost next to useless I've found after flying and crashing a, a number of these models. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make them a little bit more rigid. I've got some five millimeter carbon fiber tube here. I'm going to cut, I don't know, maybe something like 30 millimeters um, of length and I'm going to insert that through the normal screw hole in the winglet so it protrudes slightly out and then I'm going to embed that carbon rod into the actual wing so eventually I'll have two carbon rods where the screw, hole, screw holes are going um, holding these winglets into the wing to give them hopefully a little bit more a little bit more kind of rigidity at the bottom because they do even if you glue them they do tend to flex and uh, I want to try and keep those as rigid as possible to stop them from flexing so I'm going to do that as well um, and then in terms of coating, well, there's a couple of options. I've got the clear laminate that I've used before on my AR900, but I wanted to uh, also, as well as doing all these mods to make the plane better, I want to make it look really nice. So um, I've got some of this material. It's called Aura Cover. It's made in Germany. I'll put the link into it below so you can read all about it. This is the instruction sheet that comes with it. So this is the material. It's a, a, a shrinkable polymer material, like clear heat shrink. Um, and um, it's quite expensive. It's, it's 33 pounds for two meters by 600. So this is the stuff. And in addition to that, um, Oracover also supply this adhesive um, called Ion on Adhesive. Um, and it's basically activated by heat. So what you do is you paint this onto your foam. It's designed for foam and you leave it overnight. And then when you apply the, excuse me, when you apply the, 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 the film, 
this extra layer of, of adhesive will act to really bond that film to the foam and make it so it doesn't peel off. Apparently, never tried it, gonna give that a go and see how it works. Um, and the second option is, when I went to the model shop today to get these CA hinges, the guy in the model shop, um, I was basically talking to him about this project, he said, we've got this new film that's just come in. Um, it's uh, called Rip Max Aero Film, made by a company called Rip Max in the UK. I will put a link to it uh, in the video description. Now this stuff apparently is the same as Aura Cover, just as good, he tells me, um, but it's only 8.99 for the same length, which is the two meters by 600. So I'm going to do one wing in the Aura Cover, and one wing in the Ripmax Aero cover and see if there's any differences between the two because if this works out I'll probably start laminating all of my wings in the future making bolts or elevons for all of my wings in the future so I'll probably be using a fair amount of this stuff um, so yeah we're going to give both of them a try and see how they work out so also I've got new servos for the wings I'm using um, the Tower Pro MG90 um, D, the digital Metal Gear servos. Um, Tower Pro have a lot of people ripping them off in terms of making clones. I get these from a supplier in the UK and there's a genuine Tower Pro. I've used them before um, and I found them to be really, really, really good. Um, the other uh, uh, servos that I've used have been the um, Emacs MG90Ds. I found them also to be pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be putting in uh, on this plane for um, the test. So yeah, so um, over the next couple of days, I'm gonna try and get these laminated, um, get these wings. These are actually old wings from a crash plane, so they've got a few ripples in them, but perfect for testing and learning how to make, you know, how to make the elevons and how to fasten them to the wings and how to put the horns on and all the other stuff I need to learn. Um, then we'll take it out for a test flight, see how it flies. I'm sure it's gonna be much better than these old, uh, these old elevons, it's got to be, and with the, you know, the rigid winglets and maybe with the extra aerodynamics from the, uh, the laminate, um, we might see a difference in the way the plane performs. Um, if it's all good, then we'll come back, get a brand new kit and build the best AR Pro we can possibly build um, in terms of both aesthetics and flying characteristics and also strength for those inevitable uh, crashes. So yeah, this is part one of kind of the AR Pro super build series, if you like. So if you want to follow along, uh, I'll, I'll put all the videos out as I do different bits and pieces and uh, try and provide you as many links and information to any of the products that I use or any of the materials that I use that actually work out quite well. So any questions, pop, them in, uh, pop me a comment and I'll try and answer it. Um, looking forward to getting this together and uh, maybe, fingers crossed, weather permitting, getting out on Monday, today being Saturday, um, to, um, sorry, today being Friday, to, to test this, uh, this new setup. Okay guys, that's it. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one.